In this tutorial, you will study what is the fractional bandwidth and what are the return losses and how we will find these. Fractional bandwidth. Fractional bandwidth of a filter is a measure of how wide band the filter is. Measure of how much the wide band the filter is. Their formula is this. You can see here. Fractional bandwidth equal to FAC higher cut off frequency minus FLC lower cut off frequency divided by center frequency. And central frequency of a filter we can find by using this formula. Lower cut off frequency plus higher cut off frequency divided by 2. This will give you a mid frequency or center frequency. We will divide this and we will convert into a percentage. As much higher the percentage, the wider the bandwidth. It means as much higher percentage we get obtained by this formula that is the best for our design. Let's see on design. We always take fractional bandwidth as 2 1 graph and also the frequencies must drop, start from minus 3 dB. Let I'm going to mark at minus 3 dB. Now I am going to mark for band 1. Here. Here you can see that these marks M1 keep it in mind in Y axis I have ran randomly marked that's why there is a random value that must be now minus 3 from this frequency to this frequency show this first band M1 to M2 and M3 to M2 for your second band and M5 to M6 is third band basically third band is not perfectly matched so their percentage will be very very small but percentage of first band and second band will be much better you can see their values here you can find fraction bandwidth, lower cut of frequency, higher cut of frequency. Here the values are different, but you put coin values in this table for M1, for M2. You can find a mid frequency by using this formula. And you can find fractional bandwidth, fast bandwidth by using this formula. Must keep in mind multiply by 100 to get in percentage and likewise second band and likewise third band. Here you see can here, here you can see that the first band band is good percentage much better. Second band that much and third band is at that much much smaller. And it means in this design also third band is not perfectly matched. But in our design the, these percentages will be are different. You can check it properly as as you can see that here. You use these values and calculate them. You must get first first band percentage 
will be higher than the second band and second band percentage will be higher than the third band it means the first band is um, perfectly matched second band is not too much perfectly matched and third band is very less matched always keep in mind i am the percentage wider the band with of a of a each band how to find return losses and what are the return losses i am going to see the return losses in the definition you can see that Return losses occur in the when the load is mismatched. It means that when the load is mismatched, mismatch, this will occur. Not always, not all the variable power is given to the generator. It means that. Insertion losses is different. as much lower the return losses it shows that for match load return losses is zero s11 and s22 both as parameter shows the return losses we can find the return losses by using this formula You can also check other parameter, S22 parameter and S12 parameter. S12 parameter. They are almost similar to S. S12 and S2 are almost similar. Likewise. S22 nanometer, you can see that it's much similar to S11 nanometer. 